Namaste. I'm Dr. Robert. And my subject today on Five-ish Minutes with Dr. Robert is the birth of Kali. And there is more than one opinion about the birth of Kali, but I'm going to follow the opinion of the text that I am fondest of in this context, and that is the <clears throat> Durga Saptashati, also known as the Chandipat, also known as the Devi Mahatmya. It contains three main stories about the Devi, the goddess. And the first of those stories is about Mahamaya. The second is about Durga. And the third is about a large spectrum of goddesses, one of whom is Kali. There are two demons, Shumba and Nishumba, who have conquered the universe. And as is usually the case, when demons have conquered the universe, all of the celestials, the gods, all of them go to the goddess and say, help us, please. And the goddess says, do not worry. And in this case, the goddess decided, because she made her decision on, based on her best evaluation of the karmas involved, to spread out the process of dealing with Shumba and Nishumba dramatically. Initially, a general named Dumra Lochana was sent, General Smoky Eye, and he was dispatched. And this made Shumba, the, the, the boss of the entire situation, very, very upset. And he called his two most trusted generals, Chanda and Munda. And he said to them, Hey, Chanda, hey, Munda, go out there and bring me that goddess and make sure and drag her by the hair so she will be distressed. And they said, Yes, boss. And they rushed off to deal with the goddess Ambika. Ambika is a name that basically means the little mother. And she had a nice, pleasant face to her, even though she had just incinerated General Dumralochana and her, his army. And Chanda and Munda started to move in her direction. And she became irate on the subject. She became so irate that her brow furrowed. And from that very brow of Umbika sprang, completely formed, kind of like Athena springing from the brow of Zeus, except not sprang fully formed Kali. Kali, who was emaciated, who had a giant head full of extremely sharp teeth, who was carrying various weapons, including the extremely bizarre Katwanga, a staff with a skull on the top of it, and who was shouting, howling, and generally making a loud noise. And there comes a point where, in this description, of Kali, the poet issues a verse that I am particularly very fond of. And that verse is Tato Jahata Sirusha Bhimam Bhairavanadini Kali Karala Vaktarantar Dur Darsha Dashanajvalam which is almost always sounds better in Sanskrit than in translation. What it says is, thereupon, <clears throat> with the most extreme variety of laughter, in a terrible form, making the loudest and most terrifying noises, Kali, with her totally misshapen and frightful and razor-sharp teeth gleaming in her dreadful mouth, she laughed extraordinarily with extreme violence. And she proceeded immediately to go ahead and slaughter Chanda and Munda. And when she brought their heads to Ambika, she said, 
I have killed Chanda and Munda. You will kill Shumba and Nishumba. And Ambika said playfully to her, Since you have killed Chanda and Munda, we shall call you from now on not only Kali, but also Chamunda, which is made up of the names of Chanda and Munda. And that was the beginning of Kali. This is Dr. Robert wishing everyone Jema Kali.